And again, we know what he can do with Dr. Mario. He likes to, I mean, I guess in the Puff matchup, but it seems like he likes to nickel and dime a little bit and then get his kill option. Uh, uh, on that, though, I think that might do, might do him a disservice in this matchup, uh, where Fox is going to be a character that is more able to push in really hard. So if he's doing stuff like trying to nickel and dime, like if he tries to just like, uh, throw out a pill, like a full hop pill or something. Fox is a character that's able to push in on that with full hop Nair and then continue in with like Shine and his other moves. So I think it'll be really interesting to see how Kevorkian's tendency to go for nickel and diming that we saw before will play out with Fox's just all out aggression. And that, that was a capable of. Yeah, that was a super good punishment of, you know, knock off stage by right there. Oh, the wave shine out of shield, that was beautiful. Oh, that was that was really smart too. He kind of reacted to the get up attack. That up tilt was great. I love that. So we got ledge dash with Fox. Fox ledge dash super good. Doc probably doesn't have as good of one. Um, oh, the up B cancel. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Kavorkian. <laughs> he's smiling, dude. He knows he's sick. That was awesome, though. It's That's like, one of the fastest up. Out of shield option. That's oh. so good. Didn't he hit him with? He hit him with You're the You're invincible away. during that too. What? <laughs> what? So. Ah, uh, oh, see there, it's like the early up bees that he was showing versus sonar. Yeah. So I think Fox kind of. Yeah. Doc is. He's fast. Yeah. They, see, they're the full hop. Uh, the full hop pill, but Fox is just able to pull, push in so fast. It's. Not a, not that much of a viable option. Oh, the, the jab. The late nair. Oh, I thought he was gonna get him. So it seems like Mike is doing a lot with uh, you know kind of dash dance away, let Kavorki and throw out a down smash, or uh, maybe like you said, uh, go back to pill, and then Mike kind of runs in and punishes him with these tech chases, tech chases, uh, as well as kind of showing how fast Fox is <laughs> and messing him up. Uh, I'll be at the also, uh, it's like going for those down throws is a really interesting mix-up in the matchup. Uh, most matchups, Fox is gonna want to up throw, uh, but uh, Mike has a lot of experience against players like Hugs, playing characters that uh, Fox isn't able to utilize the up throw follow-ups with. So he's just really familiar with how down throw will operate. That was. That was oh. really funny, just standing standing under the pill. Oh, he was he turned the wrong way, but that was uh, just, I mean, could could Doc chain grab spaces? Yes, absolutely. That was like a big thing with uh, Shroom playing Doc back in the day. Uh, he had a set with Leffen at one of the big houses, one of the early big houses. Uh, he beat Leffen, taking him to FD, and then being really brutal with the chain grabs. So that's I mean that's definitely an option he could use. Okay. Good short by Mike. This is his last pass, though. Uh, this is a close the last stock. Let's go to Okay. Oh, the grab! Dude, he missed his dash forward. The up B, I like it. All right. So right here, Kevorkian, he needs to stay kind of composed against Fox here because a couple As, good hits. Yeah, you need to stay composed, but like also willing to throw things out because you know that Fox is just generally an aggressive character. Oh, he got him again. Oh. Oh, man. He got the up B cancel, too, but not quite able to do anything with it. So, Kevorkian is in definitely, uh, if I got the last cancel there. Yeah, he's an up smash kill for seven, unfortunately. Yeah. Which was, I think that was Mike's kind of idea, going for the double drill instead of drill shot on the right side of the stage. Get some percent on him so that he can just get him closer to up smash kill percent, which is, it'll, it'll trade with a lot of Doc's moves if Doc wants to come yeah. in with a late nair, uh, up smash will trade with it. Last set we saw from Kevorkian, he was winning a lot of trades with Sonar by being able to put out things like uh, Fair as Sonar tried to put out Bears. But there we saw, as Kevorkian tries to put out his Fair, it's just up smash, like dash in up smash is too fast from Fox. Oh, oh he's oh. dead. He caught Great his way jump. to start game two. Yeah, Let's no, go crazy. Again. Oh, is Mike going to get it back immediately? Oh, he's just able to wait. Good stuff. Yeah, I think this is a great response from Mike, too. Not uh, not letting that first 9%. The 9% to death stock <laughs> yeah. to him. Uh, coming back strong out of invincibility and, and taking him to the ledge. Um, 
what Mike needs to not to do is like uh, get too antsy on Kavorkin shield. Kavorkin showed a pretty good aptitude for a little bit of out shield game with the up B cancels. Uh, he up smashed out of shield earlier. But that was a good read by Mike. Yeah. Can't just, be rolling. I saw Kavorkin even just being patient out of shield with like looking for better times to throw his out of shield options than after the first hit. What do you think about Kavorkin's lack of. Uh, oh, great, Jar. Oh. I think he could have done one more up air and then got that uh, that forward smash. But what do you think about Kavorkian's kind of lack of, of cape on recovery? Do you think it's, do you um, think cape is good on Fox's recovery, Fox Falco recovery, if you read it right? There's, wow, yeah, that, that was, was sick. crazy. Uh, there's a, like, it depends on what level you want to look at it. Uh, a lack oh, of cape no. from the start keeps it as a mix up for later. But at the same time, are there stocks that he could have saved by having already used cape? Oh. So if we're taking the second stock there, Mike put up a put up a great fight there uh, in terms of getting that infinite to get him a lot of percent. Oh. Oh, oh he should have gone out with the up air. He went for it there, and that's what you were talking about too. He saved it for a mix-up kind of catch yeah. Mike on a 20% gimp. And, and again, we saw bad trades. Uh, Kevorkian doing for the late nair, but Fox up smash being too strong. And also Mike showing just how, how dumb Shine is clanking with everything because of that one frame of visibility. Um, moving forward, uh, Kevorkian needs to keep doing what he's doing in terms of these little, uh, like these 50% grabs that he's, he's like you said, he's less nickel and diving Fox because he got punished for it early. And he's been more focused Going in the second the game. Punishes. Yeah, the stronger punishes. So this a grab? Oh, I, he was expecting oh. Mike to land on the platform. Yeah, doing too much. Thought he'd be able to follow up afterwards. Mike's getting these sick tech chase regrabs. Is that like is that real? Um, yeah. As I was saying, uh, he has a lot of experience against players like Hugs. Uh, against Samus, you can't really do anything. Uh, you're either down throwing or you're throwing, and then just basically letting the situation drop. But. Being strong off the down throw, it lets him follow up off of pretty much anyone. Yeah, so that was a great set, honestly. Kevorkian might have lost 2 0, but uh, the score doesn't really tell the, the story of that set as a whole. I think he played super well, uh, considering the Fox matchup. So, great set. Uh, Mike 